Hello, 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 and welcome back to another makeup tutorial by Janet the Waysian. Waysian factor. I don't know what I'm doing. It's 2 a.m. and I've, I'm gone. Anyway, this look is inspired by Trinity K. Bolognese's Princess Future Geisha everything kind of look. I got a new camera too. So you may have noticed the lighting's a bit better. Sound might not be, but I'll one day get a mic, maybe. If anyone wants to let me borrow a mic and you're in Auckland, hit a, hit a sister up. Don't hit me, just hit me up. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Wage Infected to my channel. So, first, I've got to block up my brows, get rid of these little caterpillars. Another layer of glue. Then we're going to chuck some concealer on top of that. So hot. Oh yeah. My concealer palette. Probably some cheap brand Chisoli. Get a darker colour and just go over it a bit more. And I can't find a brush so I'm going to use my hands. Clean hands with my nice little takeaway tray and my good old baby powder gonna sort that out kind of just looks like I've got a scar on my brow is so I may need to put some more glue or something on I'm pretty sure it's not kosher to um, put on like wet stuff after you've just powdered that's what happens when you don't really know what you're doing so future tip Make sure that you've got enough glue on before you do anything else. <laughs> Why do I sneeze every time? <sighs> Done. So I've just got these exciting new beauty blenders. So I'm going to use this and my Ben Nye Cream Foundation in Clown White. We're going to start painting our base. I blend right into the hairline too. Also get it on your lips because we're going to draw our lips only this big because geishas are quiet. <laughs> if I was a geisha I wouldn't be a quiet one. Baby powder. And my nice kabuki brush. Getting in the Japanese zone. I really should have put a cape on myself or something, I'm all dirty. So next, I'm going to do the really fun eye stuff. Draw our crazy eyebrows. I'm going to trace them out in a pencil first. I want quite a straight kind of line. What's even going to be easier than that is to use one of my old name tags or just a card or whatever you have. Like hold it there so you've got a general idea of where you want to go. Think of it like a straight line. And then what I did was along the top, I just drew some spikes out and then filled the rest of my brow. And then I did them even. This is where we get some more white. And just cover it. Ta da! It's okay, people notice these little details, they're looking too close. So that is the general outline of where things are going to go. Let's get a nice angle brush. I'm going to go in with MAC Carbon. We'll just start darkening that up a bit. So we'll do the eyeliner first just because it's a bit easier. So now just grab a liquid or a gel eyeliner. I'm gonna go with an old gel eyeliner I have. I'll set it with some powder to make to try and stop it smudging all over my eyelid. Because I've got Asian eye folds and they smudge everything. Alright, so just a nice little brush. You may notice that the eyebrows aren't completely even, but those who are going to get really bothered by it are the people that 
just bring too much negativity into your life and you don't need that for 2015. Now the eyeliner. I'm going to quickly grab some more of that carbon powder and just put a pat it on top so that this doesn't go anywhere. Likewise, I'm going to get more baby powder and just pat the white eyelid part. Asian eyebrows, while sparse, the hair is made out of steel or something, they just keep sticking out. I'm just going to surrender to this losing battle and try to block out my brows and just hope that the rest goes alright. This side, this side is doing pretty well. Ish. Ish. We're doing a bit of a white touch up. I managed to wipe a whole lot of the white off my face. Now Trinity has this look a little bit more sophisticated. She's got some beautiful lashes down at the bottom. If you don't have bottom lashes, by all means, just feel free to draw them in with liquid eyeliner. Make sure that you've got a really steady hand. Um, I'll post a picture from when I played around this with this when I was really bad at makeup and did it with face paints. But you get the general idea of how you can do it if you do choose to take that route. Um, but tonight I'll be sticking on some falsies. Alright, what's next? Blush. Okay, the blush I'm going to use, if I can find it, the blush I'm using is this gorgeous one here. It is Fuchsia DDR4 by Ben Nye. And it's such a gorgeously hot pink colour. Like, I wish I could wear this on a normal day to day basis. For this, I'm gonna go back to my handy dandy main tag card. Because I've got a pretty flat Asian face, I'm just gonna choose where my cheekbones are. So let's go there. Make sure your card is clean. So, really get into the hairline there. Just blend it up gently. Don't, you don't need to load any more product on. Make sure they're pretty even. Kind of looks like I hit a flamingo with my face. Kind of hit the flamingo like how those giraffes attack and they're like, oh, poof, oh, poof. Yes, I just cracked my neck and that kind of hurt. Don't do that at home. So that is done. She contours with the pink, so she builds the nose with it. So let's get some of that going on. Like get a thinner, a thinner brush for that. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. I'm gonna start just the corner of the brown to bring it down a little. And now put in the lips and draw them on. Just really lightly pat where I want them in terms of powder and then I'll go and line them with lip liner. So I'll use that same Ben Nye Fuchsia. It's just follow the shape of the brush and just pat it on. There. There. Now I'm going to use a lip liner and for that I'm going to use Pro Longwear Lip Pencil More to Love by MAC. You can do your lip liner however you like. I tend to like to draw the bottom of my lip and then just a little like, it makes a little X. And with the lip liner you want to go and fill in the rest of the lip. And then press and don't smush them together, just press. So that's that part done. Now we can start doing the fun part, which is lashes. Lashes, 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 lashes. I'll put my bottom ones on first. My lash glue is a weird thing. It smells horrible. And I can't just, can't describe it. It's kind of like a bowl of cat food. The cat's eaten the food, so it hasn't like gone horrible. But there's just like the bits around the edge of the bowl have dried and kind of gone weird smell over a week. That's what I reckon eyelash glue smells like. Let's put this on right under our lash line. And then time for the top lashes. I thought it'd be a lot more fun to use these, which are massive. So I'm going to put these babies on and we're going to take off and fly. Very 
right now we got that baby on let's do the other one all right so you can just stop the geisha look here um, we've got these lovely long lashes and the bottom lashes get your tr get it to somehow stay in your hair get your kimono and you're ready I feel like as a geisha I'm not really meant to talk that much that's maybe why my mouth is so small thanks for watching I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial sorry I was a little bit higgledy piggledy all over the place I'll be a bit more until next time when I do my next video but comment on which queens you'd like to see from any of the seasons and I'll do my best to give it a go thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe let's put it in this corner oh yeah and I will see you next time new year new looks whole new season coming up bye